What's going on guys? Welcome to your 13th and last part of our animation tutorials for now. And in this tutorial we're going to be finishing up this Bucky class and finally, finally running our animation that we have been working so hard for. So let's just make one more method, the draw method, and this is going to be the easiest method ever. Um, make it public, void, uh, just name it draw, we have to since we named this draw up here. And of course it's going to take that G graphics parameter. So graphics G and in your body go ahead and we need to draw the background in whatever the image is so put G dot draw image and yep it's gonna give me like 8,000 parameters I had a feeling that would happen draw image and of course the image you want to draw the background at zero zero since you want to appear in the top left and just put null don't need to worry about that and now what it's going to draw is g dot draw image get about a million parameters and then go ahead and type in for your first one you want to you want to draw this image depending on what the image is either me with my eyes closed or open and we don't know we're going to let our program decide that so what we do is we made a method in our animation if you can remember called get image that's why we made that and we want it to draw it at well we'll just draw it at zero zero two make it easier and for your image observer just put null and if you're remembering all right this a get image let's see if i can find it right here it gets the current image so depending on whether it needs me with my eyes closed or eyes open that's what one it gets so now when you draw image you don't have to write code in here all you have to write is that one method and it gets the image to draw and draws it out so that is actually all we need to do for this tutorial all the coding the only thing I'm going to do now is test this baby out and I know you guys can't see it but let me tell you if it works yep what I see is my background gradient and me with my eyes closed, eyes closed, eyes open, eyes closed, eyes open, eyes closed, eyes open. And it does that for five seconds. So that's why your screen, screen turned black for five seconds. And here's a little visual representation of what I'm actually seeing. So it starts out me and I would have a background, of course, aside from white. And it pretty much looks like this. Eyes closed, eyes open, eyes closed, eyes open, eyes closed, eyes open. And I took these screenshots before, so, you know that's why that's why I'm able to do this but I know you guys can't see uh, when I show you on this tutorial whenever we do the animation it's kinda sucks but hey um, with my screen recorder software you gotta deal with it I guess I'm trying so that is how you pretty much animate cartoon style or still static animation whatever you want to call it in Java um, there's also animation where you have like a face like this and instead of just changing the image itself it would like move around the screen and that's what animation we're going to be learning later on and both of these are very necessary to Java and if you're wondering alright do you ever use a style of animation heck yeah like in Super Mario Brothers where it's like the same image but he has like his arms up and down when he's running what they did is they just took one image and they changed his arms and legs to give us the appearance of him running so if we ever wanted to do something like that like make a cartoon character run this is the kind of animation we would use we would change the picture itself and also change the location and that would give the appearance of him running so you know it's really useful so I would suggest watching all these tutorials again until you fully understand and got a good grasp and then you're ready to move on to the next series or next tutorial in my game programming but thank you guys for watching right now I can't wait to get more in depth and start creating some awesome stuff um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial